Hello everybody. Welcome to this video training. Uh, today um, I am going to show you how you can connect a layer 3 switch uh, to the internet. Uh, so in order to get uh, internet connection for a layer 3 switch you will need a router because uh, layer 3 switch don't do not. Uh, that's why you have this layout up here. We're going to be working with this uh, diagram. And uh, for you guys that have a layer switch and a router, you can use uh, the features for the, for the layer switch in combination with the router in order to uh, divide your network. So uh, let's go and I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step configuration that I'm going to take in order to make this uh, uh, layer 3 uh, in order to get this layer 3 connected to the internet first of all uh, from the for the layer switch, uh, 3 switch you will need to create the VLAN so to divide your network so what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna go uh, first of all I'm gonna go uh, to the uh, to the to packet tra Cisco packet tracer let's go to Cisco packet tracer you, you see we have the same diagram uh, that I show you uh, the, we have the same gra uh, diagram that I show you in the presentation like you see up here I have the layer 3 switch and this is the internet I call this uh, this router internet router because this is the uh, this router will, will give us uh, the internet connection so first of all uh, we're gonna go to the switch let me let me open the switch I'm gonna go to the global config mode conf T and uh, I have to create the interfaces uh, the I have to create uh, the VLANs uh, sorry I have to create VLAN like this PC up here PC1 let's go back to the presentation PC1 is going to be to VLAN uh, 10 and PC uh, PC2 is going to be to VLAN 20 so let's go back to uh, to Cisco packet tracer okay now I'm gonna do VLAN uh, 10 and uh, exit from here I'm gonna do VLAN 20 VLAN 20 and that's it so I create the VLAN I'm gonna assign the port to the VLAN so I uh, go back to the presentation up here you see I have uh, uh, VLAN 10 is gonna be uh, I'm gonna uh, the port uh, FA0 slash 11 is gonna belong to VLAN 10 and FA0 slash 12 to VLAN 20 so let's go quickly right up here to back to Cisco packet 3 I'm gonna exit from here I'm gonna do interface FA 0 slash uh, 11 I'm gonna do switch port mode access and I'm gonna do switch port access VLAN VLAN 10 and that's it so I will do the same thing for uh, interface uh, FA0 slash uh, 12 uh, switch port mode access access and switch port mode access uh, switch port access VLAN 20 so that's it that's that's uh, what you need we are gonna let's go back to the presentation up here so the step-by-step -step configuration we create the VLAN and we assign the ports so we need to create what we call the interface VLAN. So we create, uh, we're going to create the interface VLAN that, that is going to be associate, associated to those VLAN. And we're going to have to give those interface VLAN an IP address. So let's go back up here to Cisco Packet Tracer. Uh, I'm going to exit from here. First of all, the first interface VLAN is gonna, uh, I'm going to create is going to be interface, uh, interface uh, VLAN. Uh, VLAN 10 and I'm gonna give the interface an IP address I'm, the IP address is gonna be on the same network uh, it's gonna be on the same network as, P, as PC1 so I'm gonna give him the other IP address 192.168.10.1 that's the IP address I'm gonna give it to 192.168.10.1 uh, 10.1 and the 
79 mask it's going to be 24 with 79 mask 255 that uh, zero and that's it so i will do the same thing for interface villain uh, 20 so i'm going to exit from here i'm going to do interface villain 20 and i'm going to give the ip address ip address 192 that 168 that 20 that one is the 24 bit 7 mask 255 that 255 that uh, that 255 uh, sorry about that that zero so uh, so that's it so let's go back to the presentation up here uh, so create I create the interface villain I give them IP address so I'm gonna enable the layer 3 function uh, layer 3 function what I mean about that is I'm gonna uh, for the switch port that connect to the router so uh, in this port up here so let's go back to the uh, Cisco packet tracer like up here I'm gonna enable this port up here it is FA0 slash uh, 1 I'm gonna make it a, a router port and it is very simple it is to disable the layer 2 function so let's go back we're gonna go to exit from here and we're gonna do interface FA 0 slash 1 and we're gonna do no switch port and we have to give this interface an IP address. The IP address I'm going to give it is uh, go back to the presentation. It's going to be this IP address up here 192.168.1.1. So uh, I'm going to do IP address, IP address 192.168.1.1 with the 24 bit 7 mask 255.255.255.0. And that's it. Uh, I can do no shutdown to be uh, on the safe side, you know. It, it never hurts. So, uh, so that's it. So, uh, so I I'm done with that uh, this port up here. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna enable routing. Go back to the presentation up here. I'm gonna enable route routing. Enable and configure routing. And uh, the IP, the, rou the routing protocol I'm going to be using for this example, I'm going to be using uh, OSPF. So uh, I'm going to do from the global configuration mode. I'm going to do uh, IP routing because if you don't do that, this this switch is will not be able to do uh, routing. IP routing, and I'm going to do router OSPF. Router OSPF. OSPF one. And uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna advertise uh, those VLAN to the router. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do uh, network. 192.168.0.0 and 0 and zero dot zero dot two five five dot two five five. And uh, I'm gonna do area. Area zero. A single area. Is is a, a it works fine. You know. And that's it. So, so now this uh, switch is now a switch and a router <laughs> at, at the same time. So, uh, so this switch is is like uh, is now is like a switch and a router. So, so uh, the last uh, thing I need to do for the switch is to configure a static default route. So that's gonna point to this uh, to this router up here. So, uh, I'm gonna go back to the global configuration mode i'm gonna do ip route that's gonna be a default route ip route 0 .0, 0 0.0 0 to 0 .0, 0 0 0 0 let me use the question mark and i'm gonna send it to this interface up here it's gonna be uh, the ip address of the, the router is gonna be 192.168.1.2 so that's so that's all you need for on the for the switch layer 3 switch in order to be able now to communicate with the router and to allow those uh, devices connected to the, to the layer 3 switch to uh, to get or to get connection uh, internet connection so what i'm going to do right now is uh, let's go uh, let's go back to the presentation so now we are done with the layer 3 switch for the router it's going to be very simple so we're going to be enabling routing so uh, i'm going to 
configure the routing protocol I'm using is now OSPF and I'm going to enable NAT and that's all you need. So I'm going to go uh, to this router up here uh, to go back to Cisco Packet Tracer. Uh, I'm going to go to the router and turn the router enable <coughs> conf t I'm going to do router OSPF OSPF uh, 1 and I'm going to do network 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 one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot two and zero dot zero dot zero dot zero for that specific interface that's what it means when you use uh, the the wildcard like that and area zero and I'm gonna do network for the for the second for the other network the fifty the fifty one network so I'm gonna do network fifty one that uh, uh, sorry about that 51 that one that one that one and zero dot zero dot zero that zero that zero and I'm gonna do area zero to turn that interface now <coughs> Uh, so I'm done with routing I'm gonna exit from here I'm gonna go and configure NAT the configuration for NAT we're gonna label the interface first so the interface is, is gonna be this one is gonna be the ent inside interface FA0 slash 1 and FA0 slash 0 0 slash uh, 0 is gonna be the outside interface uh, so let's go back to the router I'm gonna do interface FA0 slash 1 IP not IP not inside and uh, I'm gonna exit from here and I'm gonna do FA0 slash uh, 0 IP not I'm gonna do outside outside and that's it so that's all I need for the for labeling the interfaces I'm gonna now create uh, do not overloading for not overloading what i need to do I'm, i don't i don't need to create a, a pool up here i'm gonna just uh, create an access list to allow these uh, to allow these uh, pcs uh, to be uh, knotted that's all i need to do and uh, i'm not gonna create a pool i'm gonna just take this interface and this interface this ip address will be uh, used for the translation so let's go back to the router so I'm going to create the access list. I'm going to do exit, exit from here. I'm going to do access list. I'm going to do one. I'm going to do permit. Uh, permit. Permit. 192.168.10.0. Dot dot zero. Zero dot zero dot zero. Dot two five five. And I'm going to do access list. Uh, permit I'm gonna do permit dot twenty dot zero and zero dot zero dot zero dot two five five and that's it so so now uh, I'm I, uh, I'm finished with the access list I'm gonna do and do the NAT configuration I'm gonna do IP NAT inside that's the final configuration uh, for this uh, for connecting this switch to the internet IP not inside uh, source and I'm gonna do list one the access is the uh, access is number one let's use the question mark I'm gonna do uh, interface or the pool this is this is where I'm gonna use the, this interface I'm gonna do interface FA 0 slash 0 that's gonna be the, that IP address and now uh, finally we're gonna use the overload key overload we are doing not overloading so and that's it uh, we are done with the configuration so let's test if uh, if this uh, uh, this configuration is working so we're gonna try
if I can say it that way, <coughs> I'm going to try to uh, access the web server from PC, PC2. So I'm going to go to simulation mode right now. So I'm going to send the ping up here. Uh, so the, I'm going to go to the uh, to the web server. Uh, I mean, this is 51. That one. That one. That 100. So this packet is ready. Uh, so uh, the PC PC2 is ready to send a packet. Let's open the, this packet up here. So you see this packet has the IP address of uh, 192.168 uh, as a source. This is the IP address for PC2 uh, and this is the destination IP. That's the web server IP address. So let's uh, forward the packet. So once this packet gets to the web server, it's going to get translated. No? Usually it should be translated. So let's go. And now you see up here the IP address was translated as you see up here. It, now it is 51.1.1. Because that's the, we are using the interface, uh, the router interface IP address to translate uh, uh, those uh, IP address. I hope you guys uh, get that. So now let's finally let's uh, stop the simulation and go to the router and do this show command. Show IP not translation. Show IP not translation. And as you see, this is what we call path address port translation up here. You see, you see that PC is using this port, and that's uh, based on this port information. That's how the router is doing the NAT translation. So I hope you guys know. That. I I hope you guys learned something from this video, and I would like to thank you for watching.